We are just days away from the kickoff for the college football season here in Northeast Louisiana as it is officially week one for all of our teams. Louisiana Tech will get their season started on Saturday when they hit the road to take on South Alabama. Our very own Chris Demersion stopped by the Bulldogs practice this morning and has more. After a month of hitting each other, the Bulldogs are free to strike others. The start of the regular season isn't near, it's here. Have we crossed every T, dotted every I? What if they do this? We need to cover this. And um, sometimes you're just best to go play the game. All the receivers, the running backs, the old line, everybody has been intact. You know, I'll translate that over to camp and hopefully we can translate that over to the season. For the first time since 2010, the Bulldogs have a quarterback returning for another year and Jamar Smith. It is very refreshing to see a quarterback back. Now, during the season last year, he had a knee injury that not a lot of people knew about that he played with. He had knee surgery right after the season ended, and then he came back. I thought he worked incredibly hard with the wide receivers. He's lost some weight. I think he's had a fabulous fall camp. The defense didn't quite live up to expectations in their second scrimmage. After surrendering five touchdowns that afternoon, Coach Holtz can only hope they're ready for Saturday. I've said this before, and it's probably never been more appropriate than with this team. I don't know how good we can be. I just want to make sure as we're good as we're as good as we can be. We just take it one day at a time. We all focus on in improving our rooms individually. You know, we condition, we run better. We all trying to get better, one percent better every day. Since South Alabama met Tech last year, they've got a new coaching staff. That leaves the Bulldogs scrambling to figure out a new team top to bottom. They've got a seasoned group. They, they're a very physical football team. They're wide receivers. They've got great size at 6'4 and 6'5 out on the perimeter, which is going to be a challenge for us. Their safeties are downhill, stop the run. Look at their personnel, and I know their personnel is talented. Chris Demersion, NBC 10 Sports.